over to A North to tell us about network version 17. Hi there. So uh, Filecoin uh, network goes through uh, a few upgrades each year where we upgrade the L1 uh, protocol. The last one uh, launched on the 6th of July, uh, which brought some great new stuff in particular, enabling the FVM as the uh, the canonical VM uh, on the network. Uh, while the FVM are working on user programmability, our next step is to launch a bunch of upgrades to the built-in actors and the built-in uh, protocol uh, so that when people can write their own uh, contracts and actors, they can do cool things. Uh, so the, yeah, the main theme of this is, is to support support utility for user programmed uh, things. So there's a bunch of um, uh, new capabilities and a bunch of refactoring to, to make things uh, play more nicely. Um, this is all in a, in a big effort towards programmable storage, which is sort of the dream for Filecoin, where um, Filecoin your know, network stores your data, and then you can write applications on top of Filecoin uh, as uh, smart contracts or actors. Um, that can do stuff with that storage. So broker deals, uh, retrieve that data, compute over it, uh, do all kinds of automated replication and renewal and the kind of things that people expect to be built into the protocol, um, but are actually uh, not. Um, uh, and also all of the finance on top of the storage uh, that um, uh, you know, sets up the economic incentives for a robust uh, both supply and demand of storage. So there's a big set of proposals that are uh, in scope for this uh, network 17. Um, most of these have been in discussion for a long time. I'm, just, I'm not going to talk through each one here, uh, but there's a large set associated with uh, uh, the programmability of the finance or the programmability of uh, doing deals or the programmability of the storage uh, that will enable better capabilities for uh, user programmed contracts uh, when they're enabled. Um, we're not necessarily going to get everything that we'd like uh, into this uh, upgrade. So there's a, you know, the, the edge of the scope here um, is just being negotiated amongst the, um, the core devs community uh, at the moment. Um, and there's also a set of a smaller set of proposals at around sort of uh, network policy. And so the biggest one here is the um, uh, changing the uh, reward distribution uh, to incentivize longer term sectors and, and stabilize the storage provider rewards. Um, and then associated with that, uh, there is a, an opportunity to clarify uh, network's policy um, should they ever should we ever discover flaws in the uh, cryptographic security of our proof of replication. Um, uh, this is a thing where we want to discuss upfront what kind of policy the network would take so that storage providers have some predictability over their returns and what risk they're taking when they make really, really long term commitments um, uh, to their sectors. Uh, we're already a fair way through implementation for these proposals. Um, some of these are being built by teams outside of Protocol Labs, which is which is fantastic and a thing we want to continue to expand. So there's a couple of uh, you know the formal the formal FIPS for some of these uh, are still being written, but the plans are, are well known. In some cases, we do the implementation at the same time as the proposal because uh, the implementation tells us a lot about uh, you know we learn things from writing the code uh, that then form part of the spec. Uh, but we're well on track for this, uh, and so. Upcoming uh, work here is the governance process for these uh, FIPS that are not yet approved, uh, needs to work through. Um, and then ongoing implementation down uh, down a few streams. Uh, the CryptoNet team and the Lotus team are all lined up behind all of these uh, items. Um, so that we can have aiming to you know, write, finish writing all the code in the next month or so, uh, and then start winding up the network upgrade process uh, that works through your test nets and, and integration and so on. Uh, towards an next network upgrade, which will be sometime, you know, uh, sometime October-ish uh, this year.